So guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you something inside of Ark that is going to be super useful, especially for those of you that have never really played with mods before. This is going to be the best mod pack and just in general, the best set of mods that you can have. The guy that made him for Ark Survival Evolved had some amazing mods and he's continuing to port some over to Ark Survival Ascended. And I'm going to talk about all of them and everything you need to know should be pretty quick and how you get them. So this is the best mod pack. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. So the mod author is actually named Danny. But basically what you're going to do is it's the Gaia mod pack. Now, Gaia's, he's got a whole bunch of individual mods. You can choose what you want. But in general, all of these mods are very awesome. There's a bunch of QOL things, and there's things in general that are just amazing to use. You can see that I've got some starter packs here. And one of his mods literally just gives you a starter opportunity. So you can see that it costs you fiber. And it just gives you nothing overpowered, just prim tools, prim crossbows, just some basic stuff to get going which is obviously a huge advantage. Now, for those of you who are playing single player, that's an awesome little feature. You don't need to use them. They will eventually die in your inventory, but it's just an awesome little thing. Now, you can also have anything like a Gaia glider skin where you'll be able to use a glider again. Now, you can also go in here and see that there are also, I'm not going to be able to find it, I guess, but, um, but there's also Gaia potions. There's all kinds of stuff that make this game a lot of fun. And basically, it's, um, it's just... I don't really know how to say it any better than it's 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 a lot of fun um, and all of these mods are pretty pretty unique as well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this command right here so he's also got one where no fall damage is a thing um, and you can basically just drop down and guarantee that you're gonna survive from anything you have to download the mod though I didn't download it yet so I'm gonna show you all of that stuff and uh, yeah it's a, it's a super awesome mod and eventually he's gonna add dinos into it as well I'm gonna go ahead and back out so I can actually show you the mods that are awesome and explain what they do so you're just going to go to your mods list. In order to spell Gaia, it's G-A-I-A. I didn't spell at all. G-A-I-A. -A. There we go. And then it's got literally two pages, <coughs> excuse me, of uh, notes right now. He's got a grapple hook that works really well. You can see it's a reusable design. So basically you don't have to waste ever, like I make 150 grappling hooks. It's awesome for servers, awesome for PvE and solo players. The Gaia crop plot is also really nice. Basically, it, you can have infinite water and fertilizer, and it's just it, it allows you to have greenhouse ability, and it's just a nice thing, especially for solo players that need those boosts and stuff like that. This one's more for server uh, runners and some solo players. It just makes commands really easy. It opens up a UI that is really nice. Um, you can see that this one's a caves teleporter that'll bring you to all the individual caves locations. Very freaking useful. Um, especially if you're playing solo player and you don't feel like waiting 30 minutes to drive across the map on whatever you're on, you can kind of just go over to it. Uh, the Gaia Fishery is a really neat thing. Basically, you drop these like little clusters of uh, pearls things, like I don't know, clams, I guess, in the ocean, and they'll produce you some of the more difficult to access resources like silica pearls, oil, black pearls, angler gel, and ammonite bile. Uh, those are the starter packs you saw those in game when I was, ba it basically gives you those like little head start packs, which are pretty awesome. Um, and they, they do go away after a little bit. Gaia Shield is, uh, yeah, so basically whenever you spawn, you get a little bit of uh, invincibility from dino threats because if you ever spawned in and been just smoked by something, yeah, this prevents that. Gaia Glider, pretty self-explanatory, has gliders and will add those into your game. These are probably one of my favorite things, the auto collectors. It's a little, it's not very many, but you can see that there's little structures that he has um, that'll automatically gather dropped structures, uh, dropped armor, ammo, food, egg, compost bin. Basically, it just takes care of your poop and then distributes fertilizer automatically. These are really nice mods to add into a game. It adds a lot of lot. It's just nice to have something like that because it basically makes it so it's nice and simple. You don't have to worry about a whole bunch of stuff. So that's a big one. Uh, Gaia Elixirs is also something that is uh, it's really powerful. Um, you can see that basically a, a world of 35 consumable elixirs and it adds a whole bunch of stuff into your game. I've done a bunch of elixir mods. This one's very nice. You can see you got fly, uh, fire immunity, famish, crafting adult. There's a whole bunch of them. You can change the gender of dino, uh, dinos and then frog elixir allowing you to jump like a frog. There's a lot of really cool elixirs that this is uh, added in there. And then the last page, no fall damage. I didn't have it activated, but you can see this. A uh, carefree descent from any height, and basically it's a shield that you don't need to worry about. Um, you just install it and play it. I forgot to activate it because I'm a moron. 
but then you would just go into your solo player game, activate those mods, and then start it up. Now, all of those are super nice. I like all of them. Um, they, they are a lot of fun to play, and he has a whole bunch that he releases on a regular basis, and I'm stoked for when he releases his creature mod. But just so you can see, that is probably the best mod pack in general uh, that you can use. It's not super broken, but it at least adds a little bit of fun stuff to your game. So, anyways, hopefully this little video helps you out. And other than that, teach.